Jill from Appalachia Ladder and Light. I wanted to make a, a little video here tonight to show you one of my new products. It's our shaving mug with our new shaving soap. Um, this is a triple milled soap. Um, I've been working on this recipe for quite a while now. Finally got it to where I like it, as you can see. Um, but I wanted to focus on um, just a few things um, with the ingredients. One of them is the sow butter that I put in here. Um, I really, really like sow butter. A lot of people have never heard of it. It comes off of a or comes uh, from a tree in India called the sow tree. It has a fruit on it, and they take the nut of that fruit and make this butter. It's really, really, really good for dry skin, itchy, uh, rashes, eczema, any kind of dermatitis, sunburns, uh, damaged skin, rough skin, um, even as rough as your feet um, can get. It's really good for that. Um, it's really good for chapped skin. It has some healing benefits to it. So the wintertime, guys, I know you're out there, especially if you work outside, garbage men, construction, anything that's outside. My husband works construction, so I know how rough it is on you. It's really good for your skin. Another ingredient I put in is hemp oil. Hemp oil is a non-clogging oil, so it doesn't clog your oil, doesn't clog your pores, um, and it actually will reduce the size of your pores. It helps with blackheads, acne, protects your skin from free radicals. Um, it also has some anti-inflammatory benefits, um, reduces redness, and um, is um, actually uh, recommended by some um, to treat psoriasis and eczema. Um, it's got it's really good to soften your skin. It's um, it helps to maintain epidural lipids in your skin. It also um, creates a water barrier, so as to keep to um, the moisture in and to keep your moisture from evaporating out of your skin. Another ingredient I put in it um, is a lanolin. As some of you may know, um, in addition to the um, alpine and Nubian goats that um, we raise, we also have Dorper sheep. And um, I put some lanolin in this, which a lot of ladies will know that it is a great moisturizer. Um, so guys, it's put it in there to make your face a little softer for your, for your benefits there. Um, another thing um, I put in there is Rizole Clay. Um, again, a lot of people have never heard of Rizole Clay. Um, it is a really good clay. It's um, been around for a really long time. It has a lot of natural minerals in it. It comes from the um, Atlas Mountains um, of Morocco. And they've actually been mining it there since about the 8th century. They used it back then um, with water to uh, clean with. But um, today they use it in Turkish baths. Um, they use it in uh, facial masks. Uh, they use it in hair mud. You can mix it with water, make a mud for your hair. It softens your skin. Uh, it, it's, it's just a really, really good, really, really good clay. I really like it, and I do plan on making some facial masks and stuff like that later on, ladies, with this clay, because I really, really like the benefits of it. But enough about that. Um, I just wanted to let you know some of the ingredients. But as you can see, you want a nice, thick lather, lather with your shave soap. And as you can see, it's a little difficult to do with one hand. But it's a nice, thick lather. Um, it's very stable. I've timed it about three or four different times now, and it keeps its foam. I got tired of waiting. I let it sit there for 45 minutes. I put the top uh, st stopwatch on my phone here and uh, just let it sit to see how long it would sit there, and it literally sat there for 45 minutes and did not move. I'm very, very happy with this shaved soap. I've been working on this recipe, like I said, for quite a while now. Um, I really, really, really think you all will like this. This will make a great Christmas present. Um, even later on, like, um, Valentine's Day would be great for the guys. But Christmas, you know, is right here. But um, I've only got a couple of these brushes left. They're boar hair, natural boar hair brushes. I'm going to try to get some more in, but they won't be here before Christmas, guys. Sorry. But I've only got two left. Um, but you can get the mugs. 
with the soap and the brush for um, 30. Um, some of the mugs have the Nubian because we do put the goat's milk in there, which everybody knows is really good for your skin. Great moisturizer. This one here, I've got one like this. This is Shave Mug. Um, got a few that are just plain. Not plain, but they don't have the emblems on them. Sharon really does an excellent job with these mugs. She puts the nice rings inside of them to help um, get the lather nice and creamy. Um, the Nubian goats are just super cute. So I've got a couple like this where the handle goes to the side, if you can see. Here's one with a brush in there. You can see that'll hold your brush, guys, so it'll, uh, I've got some soap on that one, um, so it'll dry. But it also makes it really handy to put your finger in there to hold while you're taking your brush to lather it up. This is scented with um, my most popular fragrance, um, Nautica. It smells fantastic. It's not really heavy. It's really, really, really nice. I really like it. Um, if you're wanting to get this, if I need to ship it and get it to you before Christmas, you need to get your orders in now. Um, it's not up on the website, so you'll have to get a hold of me directly. I done that on purpose so you could get a hold of me directly and I could get it out ASAP. Um, if you're local or, or relatively close and you want to pick it up, um, that's fine too. It'll be down at the uh, Flea Land Flea Market Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, we'll be there um, for several days before Christmas. You can pick them up there. Like I said, with the brush, they're 30. Without the brush, they're going to be 25 for the mug and the soap. I will be making replacement soaps. Um, this is my first time selling this, so I went ahead and put them in the mug this time. Um, but I hope everybody um, enjoys this Chris, their Christmas, and um, I hope you really like my product. If you do, please leave a review. I would really appreciate it. And um, everybody have a Merry Christmas, and God bless, and good night.